Anyway, hello, boys and girls. My name is Mike Kelly, AnimatorsForum.com, the Real Illusion Forum. Um, somebody was, this is my first tutorial done on my new computer, so forgive me, folks, if this works a little weird. I'm just getting used to a lot of things. Somebody was talking uh, on the forums, and then they ended up talking on my own channel here about how it wasn't working anymore when you exported a, a Daz character with morphs and brought it into iClone with those morphs. And so it's, it's something like, here's the Daz dog, for example. And we go into the edit morph rules and we say, you know, give me all the morphs that start off with dog8.ectrl. Notice it's case sensitive. You have to be careful about that. So we said, okay, we export it like that, which we do. And then it comes into iClone correctly. So it comes in. And then when we take this and we go to morph creator, it wasn't asking us to load in the morphs. Uh, and, it, and I thought that was odd behavior. And somebody was saying, well, you know, what's going on? Is it iClone? Actually, it turns out to be Daz. Uh, if I do Morph Creator now with that dog eight, you'll notice Morph Creator will come up and then it will ask me, hey, there's morphs. And we say yes, and it loads in all those morphs. And so this works exactly the same way it always did. Um, so there's the morphs, they're all loaded in. Uh, you might say, well, what's changed? Well, what's changed is that um, that the version of Daz removed that capability. So I'm using Daz, uh, I'm using version here, about, I'm using 4.9. I found 4.9 out on the web and loaded it in instead of the more recent version of Daz, and this version works with those morphs. Apparently, the more recent version of Daz doesn't work anymore with those morphs. Mm -hmm. So, uh, the idea here is, if go back to version an earlier version of Daz. It's the, it's the newer versions that remove that possibility of exporting those morphs and having them found in other programs. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stay with this version. I'm not going to, there's no really, no real reason to upgrade Daz. You're just using it as a vehicle to export out of iClone, so... Or, or import into iClone and CC Studio. But anyway, that's how to do it. So um, hopefully this, oh, 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 and, but if you're really stuck with the old version of Daz, somebody says, how do you do it manually? Well, you can do it manually. You could go in, for example, to this dog here. We go into here and we, the morphs do come in here uh, in the exchange. Uh, this is, but if you had to do it manually, I can see right now that I'm, with my microphone in front of my face, it's hard to see what's going on. If you uh, if you find the morph you want, this is a whiskers, but let's find the morph. Uh, 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 how about happy? There, happy. If you find this morph, you can actually export this morph. So you can export it as an OBJ. So uh, again, I'm still fumbling around here with my... Uh, okay, so export it as an OBJ. Save that. Got it? Okay, then we can go into iClone, into Morph Creator. And this time I'm not going to load those morphs in. So now you can create them manually. You can go in, and again, Exports, and you can load in that OBJ. And now you have that morph there manually. So you'd have to do that for all those different morphs. Or you can go back to the old version of Daz and just send them all over by exchange in the iClone. So anyway, it's not it's not a real illusion problem. It's a uh, Daz problem. So hopefully this helps, and we will see you on the forums.